Hi guys! So in this video, I am going to be sharing with you my absolute uh, new favorite way of making brownies. These brownies are super quick and easy to make. The oven does the job and it's also gluten free uh, because I used coconut flour instead of regular flour. We're going to add some nuts to amp it up and it, I've tried this with so many different measurements to make this a perfectly delicious. So if you're interested, then keep on watching. I begin with half stick of butter, which is around 60 grams and one fourth cup of chocolate chunks. And I'm going to microwave it for 30 seconds for the chocolate to melt. And I'm taking two eggs to that. I'm adding one teaspoon of vanilla extract and giving it a quick whisk and uh, I'm also adding half cup of maple syrup. You can add more if you like. I'm making coffee extract by mixing one fourth teaspoon of coffee granules to one teaspoon of hot water and I'm adding that to the melted chocolate mixture and whisking it until the mixture is nice and smooth. Now I'm combining the egg mixture and the chocolate mixture. To that I'm adding one fourth cup of cocoa powder. I'm using Dutch processed cocoa and giving it a nice whisk. Now I'm adding half cup of coconut flour and you have to add the coconut flour at the very end because the mixture uh, starts to thicken up so by this time you have to have the baking tin ready with lined parchment paper the mixture is almost ready now i'm chopping some uh, brazil nuts roughly i love the combination of brazil nuts cocoa and coconut flour adding that to the chocolate mixture and our batter is ready i'm pouring the batter in the baking tin. I'm using a loaf tin here but you can use a square tin if you like. You don't have to smoothen the batter. I'm just leveling it roughly. I'm also adding uh, some of the chopped Brazil nuts on the top and it bakes in the oven for around 25 minutes. There you go. Our brownies are perfectly baked and as you can see it comes off so easily. You can chop them in squares or rectangles according to your liking. These are the best gluten free brownies I have ever made. You can see the texture is nice and fudgy and this is a more cakier version of a brownie. I will be sharing with you more fudgier version in a video very soon. So hot. If only you could taste these right now. I mean they're perfectly balanced with the bitterness of the cocoa powder and the sweetness from the maple syrup. Now of course adjust the sweetness according to your taste. This is the way I like uh, my brownies. And if you want to go fancy, you, uh, go ahead, add some kind of a glaze or topping on it. But to me, it's not required. It tastes perfect like this. Also, I like to store these in the fridge. And every time I eat a piece, I just like to microwave it for 20 seconds. And they're perfect, hot and delicious. I hope you give this brownie recipe a try. And I hope you guys like it. I'll see you in my next video. Until then, bye-bye.